Welcome back, it's me, Jenny. I have a very, very sweet and adorable project for you guys today. So I'm going to show you guys how I created this really pretty uh, spring-inspired napkin ring. Um, I was actually at um, Pier 1 Imports this week and I saw so many things that I absolutely fell in love with very pricey I have to say very very pricey and I came across this really pretty napkin ring that was kind of like a flower it kind of looked like this actually it was just like one flower napkin ring it was absolutely gorgeous but as I am always thinking you know to save some money I figured I can probably DIY something similar to that napkin ring and that's how what I did today I sh I did this really pretty guys so simple it is unbelievable you're going to love this project things that you probably have already at home I have a little surprise for you at the end of the video if you guys stick around which a lot of you guys always do anyway but at the end of the video I have a little surprise for you guys okay so let's get started if you really want to create this really pretty napkin ring uh, spring inspired I thought it was so pretty it's absolutely gorgeous so let me show you what I'm gonna be I'm um, using to create this project I have here these um hats that I've been having forever um, they they come to the little bag I'm going to use these to create as my napkin rings okay I have seen these hats at Michael's they do have them and they do sell them okay so Besides the hats that I have here in front of me, I am also going to pick from my collection of gorgeous flowers, as you can see here, that I get at Michael's. I love Michael's for getting flowers. They have beautiful, beautiful, gorgeous flowers. And I like to buy them when they're on clearance or on special because they can be really pricey um, if you buy them regular price. But if you use coupons or if you get them where they have them in a really cheap, great, um, special I usually rack and stack them and buy a whole bunch okay so I'm gonna have some flowers that I picked already um, I picked this really pretty gorgeous um, I'm not really good with flower names but this is something like a rose I would say no a rose is not like that actually this is a rose some pretty pink flower fluffy flower I don't know the terminology or the proper name of these flowers but this pretty pink flower I also am going to get two of these roses that I've been having forever I have so many of these beautiful vintage roses that I bought at Michael's years ago I'm talking about I want to say about maybe eight or nine years and I've been having these forever and so this is a perfect perfect opportunity to um, use this I, I I had way back in my younger years I used to have an Etsy store I still do have one but I don't have it open right now and I used to make um, like flower arrangements for the hairs for weddings and I made a very pretty bouquet um, using these flowers and it just turned out so beautiful I wish I had a picture but I I don't have that picture but anyway it turned out absolutely gorgeous so we're using this for um, for the napkin rings okay I'm only using two different kinds of flowers because I don't want to overwhelm myself okay and then I'm using little other knickknacks as well like little berries I'm using some ribbon and then I'm using um, some trims okay so I'm gonna show you really quickly not too quick right because my videos are never quick how to create this really gorgeous spring napkin ring it's really pretty I thought it was just absolutely beautiful okay let me pull you in I gotta be very quick with this video because I want to um, not make this so long so you're gonna take your little pretty um, hat that I have here and although it has already a ribbon around it we're going to embellish it okay do I have you guys on a good angle I hope I do okay I have this ribbon that I bought I want to say I bought this at Walmart a very 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 long time ago 
feel like I have you crooked. Hold on. Oh, I have. I feel like I have you guys crooked. Okay. I bought this ribbon at Walmart a very long time ago. Um, I love, obviously, the floral. You know me, I love floral. We're gonna use this ribbon to wrap around our little hat. Now, what I like about this ribbon is actually wired, and if I pull the wire a little bit here in the corner, I pull the wire a little bit, it kind of creates like this really pretty ruffle effect. See that? So, if you have wiring, and um, your if you have wire on your ribbons and um, and you're able to kind of pull it out, you can definitely create this ruffle effect if you're obviously very careful in doing it. Okay, so that's what I want to do. I want to create this really pretty ruffle effect, and I want to go around my hat. I have my hat glue all ready for me. So let's measure roughly like around here. Okay, have my hot glue ready for me. So I'm going to kind of ruffle it up a little bit, not too much, because we don't want too much ruffle. But you know, you want a little bit of a nice texture. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue in the center of my hat, and I'm just gonna add my ribbon right in the center. Right over the pink ribbon, doesn't matter. And then I'm going to add some hot glue in the core, like every, I don't know, inch or so, half an inch, I don't know. Just add a little bit of hot glue, just so that your ribbon stays together, okay? I'm gonna go back here and do the same thing. I love these napkin rings because they're just so pretty to make, and I love making them because they're so much fun. I love having, I, I mean, even though I do absolutely love the ones that they have in uh, Pier 1 Imports, I'm telling you, they're, they're pricey. And if you need four or if you need six of these napkin rings, you can like really, um, you know, it could really run you a really pricey amount. I mean, it could really go from like, I don't know, $20 to uh, maybe sometimes a little more. So I'm just not really right now in the um, mood to spend so much money on something that I can definitely DIY it myself. So, you know, if I had the money, I would probably buy it because it's just absolutely gorgeous, but I don't have that money to be sparing right now. Okay, so after you wrap around your ribbon to your adorable little um, hat, just trim out the wire and just play around with it make sure you like it where it is make sure if you want to place it where you want it just go around add some glue and just place it where you want it okay just play around with it just like that and you should get something like this see that how pretty is that already Little ruffles, so pretty. Okay, now when we are done doing that, we are going to add a trim around the hat. I have this trim here that I like to use because it's pink, it's pretty, very springy. I just like it. You can use whatever trim you want, obviously. I'm going to start from the back of my hat. I'm gonna add a little bit of hot glue to my trim. I'm going to place my trim where I want it, and then I'm going to go all the way around my hat, placing, a, adding a little bit of hot glue to my trim as I go around. Notice that I'm not adding hot glue, so much hot glue, because I don't want this to be so messy, but I also do want my trim to stay in place. Now, I am making only two, because it's only me and my hubby, um, and I thought it was such a pretty, pretty, pretty napkin ring, so I might make, I might make two more, I might make two more, and I think I'm gonna give, gift one to my mom, because she loves Easter stuff, 
and springy stuff so okay once you go around you trim the size that you want and then you add a little bit more hot glue to secure that to make sure that that's not going anywhere and you should get something like this you see that with the little trim around it how pretty that looks okay very good that's done we're moving on along to the inside. okay now we're going to add our flower which is so simple to do I am going to show you right now what we are going to use we are going to use um da, 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 da. oh I said to you before I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use this one and I'm going to use this one okay I'm going to use you're gonna need some really good uh uh you know what is it called what is this called flower cutters or wire cutters because you want to make sure that you um don't want to use your obviously scissors for this and a wire cutter is much better because it can really help you cut those wires okay now before you say anything honeys please please i hope you guys are very much listening to what i have to tell you because this part is going to be so important for our next project that we're going to do you're gonna use some muscle please don't throw these away i saw something in um pier one imports that i want to kind of diy myself and show you guys how to do it is absolutely gorgeous please do not throw these away we need these for our next project it's very important to keep these with you okay trust me you're gonna love it okay so once you cut your flowers and you have them ready to be placed in your hat let's do that let's place them in our hats so i'm going to first add my hat my pretty pink not hot it's more like a soft pink color and I'm going to place this in the right here right there you're gonna have to add a lot of glue be generous with the glue because trust me you're going to need a lot of glue to make sure that this does not go undone okay so we're gonna place that right there okay and then we're gonna place these two roses on the side again generous amount of hot glue you don't want this to fall apart on you and you want to keep it for a long time right keep it for a long time okay let's see i'm gonna put this this way i'm gonna add hot glue only on one side because it's gonna be tilted and you're gonna squish this back here and place it however you want. I wanna place mine just like that. Now keep in mind, if you make four of these, or if you make six of these, or even if you make two of them, they're not gonna all look the same. So don't drive yourself crazy if one of them looks a little bit different than the other. There's nothing wrong with that, that's perfectly fine. I kinda of like that idea that they're not all the same and they kinda of have their own little um, special look to it. So don't don't go crazy if they all look different it's okay let's put this in here okay and place them how you want it this is so pretty i'm telling you pier one import should hire me to make their napkin rings <laughs> okay look at that already how pretty that looks okay perfect we're gonna work on the front now because i already did this side now i'm gonna add something here just to make it a little bit more pretty looking if you want to go around and put flowers please go right ahead this project is your project you make it however you want to make it let's say you want to add some different flowers around this there's nothing wrong with that do so because that's how you want your project to look I'm gonna add some little berries that I found and I thought they were so pretty. See these little tiny berries? I don't know if you can see them, but these little white berries, I just love them. So I'm going to add those berries to the opposite side of my hat. I'm gonna add two. And then I'm going to also add these, um, these sparkly berries that I got at the dollar store. Remember I got these at the dollar store? I'm gonna add a pink one. Also, 
and we're just going to make like a little cluster of prettiness right a little cluster of prettiness okay so i'm going to add this little berry onto my hat on one side Just like that. And then I'm going to add my little pink sparkly berry in the middle. Right here in the middle. And then and then I'm going to add my second berry or my other little berry on the side of this one. So it's gonna kind of like hug the um, the sparkly berry together, right? It's kind of like, it's gonna give it like a really nice, a huggable moment. <laughs> a huggable moment, that sounds nice. See that? So it looks kind of pretty. It looks kind of like cluster. You got the, the shiny berry in the middle and then you got these two on the side. It looks pretty. I like that idea. I think it looks pretty. Okay. So now we're done. Whoop, whoop, we're done. Whoop, whoop, we're done. You see how fast that was to create? I mean, it took us like seconds to create. Okay, not seconds, but it took us like really not a long time. So if you have a whole bunch of these to make, um, as you can see clearly it will not take you that long now keep in mind this is absolutely perfect to give as a mother's gift maybe you have some mother's gift that you want to do this is perfect um easter present or easter gift for somebody this is awesome for that there's so many things you can do with this okay let's finish it off i have something different that i want to add to my little napkin ring Typically, normally, you don't really use this, but you know me, I like to like always break the rules and I feel like I'm okay doing that because I can, it's my project. I'm going to use this tool to kind of make my napkin ring holder. I know, it's a little bit strange, it's a little bit weird, but I just love the way the tool looks on the napkin ring. I, to me, it just looks so pretty, so shabby, and I just love the texture and I love how it looks. So I'm gonna do that. However, if you don't like the look of this tool, you can very much use twi tr uh, trim if you want. You can absolutely use some lace if you want. You can basically just hot glue your lace onto your, um, your little hat and that could be your napkin ring holder you can use um ribbon if you want you can use many 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 things okay i choose to use um tool because i just love the way tool looks i don't know um i just took a piece of tool and i am folding it in half making sure that i have the um correct amount on each side okay and then i'm gonna go and i'm gonna make a knot right here in the center and you're gonna ask yourself why is she making a knot in the center I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna tell you in a minute why now there's many many ways of doing this obviously my way is not always the correct way of doing things but you can basically you know um, play around with this and find what is more easier for you okay you can simply just hot glue this to the side and you don't have to go through this whole thing that I'm going through but again I like to do things differently and I'm strange like that. So I made a knot in the middle because what I want to do is I want to hot glue this knot into my little hat and I want to have something that it will uh, hold, okay? So that's the reason why I made a knot. You don't have to do this. You can skip this step if you want, but again, I, I do things a little bit differently. So I'm going to hot glue that right inside my hat as you can see there and then i'm going to have this lovely um pieces in the side to tie my napkins to before i use this what i like to do is i like to take this side and i like to curl it up like this twist it around like this and then 
what I do is I add a little dab of hot glue right in here and then that will hold my see I add a little dab of glue right here holding my tool and that will give me a nice little um, um, security to kind of attach my napkins to now if you don't like this like unfinished look you can always put a petal a flower here um, you can always put a trim maybe you want to put a trim around it that's perfectly fine it does not bother me that my napkin ring looks like that I don't personally think it looks messy to be honest with you I think it looks perfectly fine to me but if you feel that you don't like that look then always cover it up okay so I'm gonna add another hot glue and I'm gonna twist it around like I just did and then I'm going to hot glue it down I'm gonna hold it for a few seconds and that's gonna dry up perfectly and this is how I do my spring inspired napkin ring now that's not gonna go anywhere you see that that's not going anywhere but if you want to use some um, maybe you can use some paper flowers just to cover that up you can do a lot of things guys okay you can use a lot of things to cover that up again it doesn't bother me because once I put this on my napkin that's not even gonna show my husband is not really too you know he don't really care about these things I just want it to look pretty in the table so okay so now we're ready to add our napkin rings to our napkins find some pretty napkins and my um, I definitely suggest you to go to the, to the thrift shop. They have awesome, beautiful vintage napkins that you can find and you will definitely love. Okay, so here I am. This is what I do. I'm going to wrap this around. Oops. Yeah, just like that. I'm going to put my napkin ring around my napkin. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to wrap it around with my tool and I just love using tool for this I think it is the best the best idea and it's not expensive so I mean really it's not expensive who doesn't have tool at home and if you don't have it you can go to Walmart and find it look how pretty that looks it looks gorgeous in the back so that's how and look at how it looks in the front how pretty that looks guys isn't that gorgeous look at that and that is how I create my lovely lovely spring inspired napkin ring I just thought it came out so pretty I even like it actually more than the one in pure ones I'm not gonna lie because um, it just has so much more life to it and it just looks really really unique and different Okay, honeys, so I hope you guys like this video. I try to do a little bit of some DIY videos in the, aside from my Easter series because I don't want to, um, I don't want to get you guys tired. So I want to give you some different things to also create. Okay, honeys, I love this. Isn't this beautiful? I just love it. Can you imagine how gorgeous that would look on your table? I mean, oh my goodness, it's just absolutely beautiful okay so my surprise to you guys is this I own so many of these hats I cannot even tell you I I went into my um, attic and I had like too many too many to count so what I'm gonna do is for the first five no wait I don't like odd numbers for the first six scrubbies that are my scrubbies that you guys are you know obviously um, obviously subscribe to my channel for the first six that have that wants me to mail out to you guys um, some of these lovely uh, hats I will do so I will send you um, set of two so you'll get four so you can make your own little DIY project with the conditions that you will show me how it turns out I definitely want to see how it turns out um, and so I will do that for you guys okay now I am very sorry that I have to tell you this but you have to live in the US because I am mailing this out to you guys I am not charging anybody anything to mail this out um, 
I, I, you know, I'm sorry for my international uh, subscribers. I will work on something for you guys in the future, I promise. But um, for now, you have to live in the U.S. because um, it makes it easy for me to just put it in a package for you and mail it out to you. Um, versus doing going through custom and all that stuff. But I will do something for my international um, subscribers, hopefully soon for you guys. I, I'm thinking of doing something, I'm, I'm in my mind, I'm thinking of how to do it. So I am working on that for you. But for this project, you have to live in the US because it makes it easier for me, okay? So again, the first six scrubbies that says to me, yes, please mail me, or something along the lines of, yes, you want to receive um, four of these little hats, I will do so. And I'm saying the first six because I know that you guys are going to probably be, you know, um, wanting these. So I'm trying to be as fair as possible. So I figure the first six who watch this or the first six who request this, um, some of these hats, I think it's fair. So, um... I need to get your address. Please do not send me a message on YouTube. I don't know what's going on with the messages on YouTube. I get some messages. I don't get all of them. I get some of them. So um, you could send me a message if you want, but I would really prefer for you to email me your address. Please let me know what is your name in um, YouTube. I need to know like what is, like what is, if your name is not like, you know, what is your YouTube channel name under? So I know who you are. Let me know what your address is and I will be mailing these out to you guys, okay? Um, all my email information is going to be at the bottom of this video. I hope you guys have so much fun making these adorable little napkin rings. Um, and again, um, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for your support. I am trying my best to catch up with all my wonderful comments. I think I'm almost done catching up with every single one of you. I try to at least, you know, acknowledge that you guys you know, are sending me fantastic messages. And um, so I'm trying my best to catch up. Um, thank you so much for your support. Thank you so much for your lovely comments. Thank you so much for returning back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I will see you soon on my next uh, Easter uh, video that I'm going to be posting for you guys. We're going to learn how to make these lovely, beautiful Easter inspired napkin rings. And, um, and yeah, so thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that subscription button. Um, and I'll see you soon, honeys. Please be safe and be careful and love you all for all your fantastic support. Love you and I'll see you soon. Bye.